Hey folks, uh, we're going to go back up and find that rattlesnake uh, and see if he's moved. Um, it's been about three and a half or four hours since we first located him. And I would like to know, um, has he traveled far from the spot? Has he stayed right there? And uh, as Ron was saying, um, often when you come up on a rattlesnake, he senses your presence. He may not move. He may not reveal himself in any way, you no know, rattling or anything, but he knows you're there. So as soon as you leave, he then moves off to a safer location because he feels like that spot, his camouflage, may have been compromised. So I want to go up and see if he's still there or see if he's moved. So we'll see if we can get his signal. Yep, straight up the hill. He's really close. Really close. Glad the uh, understory is fairly open here so we can uh, look around and uh, hopefully find him and not step on him. Oh yeah. We're on top of him now. Okay, I see the rock where he was earlier, but it seems like he has moved at least some. I think he's probably up in this uh, debris. Oh, no. Believe it or not, he is in the exact same location. Isn't this just amazing that he's just sitting here and I just crawled within two and a half feet from the snake and he did not move. He did nothing but flatten out against the ground and hold his position. He's totally relying on his camouflage to hide him in these leaves. Now, just like all creatures, the snake has a comfort zone. If I get inside his comfort zone, he's gonna defend himself. I'm not in his comfort zone yet. He still feels like he's protected by his camouflage. And I want to leave him with that feeling. I don't want to disturb him and have him have to crawl off and find another place to hide and feel like his camouflage was blown. So I'm not going to poke him with a stick. That's not a good idea. Why disturb such a beautiful creature? Such an important creature. These animals are a part of this ecosystem. They're here for a reason. And they're not out here to hunt people down and kill them but yet we hunt them down and kill them all the time. And that's just not cool. These animals are helping us out by eating t all these rodents that would otherwise damage our crops, damage our houses, possibly damage us with, by carrying viruses into our houses and bacteria and making us sick. This is a remarkable creature. Just look at his color. Look at his, his beautiful pattern. This is one of the most beautiful rattlesnakes I think I've ever seen. And he's not at all trying to harm me. In fact, it's like Ron said earlier, they use their venom primarily to gather food, not as a defense. They would much rather hide and remain flattened against the ground like this and, and hide from any potential threat than attack a threat. Now, like I said, if I was to bother him, it's a different story. He would defend himself and the only way he can defend himself is to strike and bite. 
Now, has he rattled? No. He's not been pushed to that limit yet. I don't even see his rattle. He's got it buried up under some, the coils of his body. And I'm not going to make him rattle. That would be tormenting him. And I think the statistics say that, in the United States anyway, um, most snake bites occur uh, when people pester or try to pick up or, or handle venomous snakes. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that uh, usually alcohol is involved. So, you know, go figure. <laughs> you get a crazy um, person out in the forest, you give them some alcohol, they become a little crazier, and then they'll do things they wouldn't normally do, and they get bitten by snakes. But we're here just to show you this wonderful creature and uh, hopefully show you that it's not the big, mean, scary creature of legend that everyone makes rattlesnakes out to be. This is my favorite animal for a reason. I just realized I'm sitting in poison ivy. Good thing I'm not allergic. But uh, these are incredible creatures. They, they hunt with, well, high technology for the animal world. They have good vision. They have heat sensing ability. These are amazing creatures and they need to be left alone in their habitat. If you find a rattlesnake, please don't bother it. Please just leave it where you find it. Now, if it's crossing a road, maybe block traffic and, and use a long stick to help herd the snake off of the road. But other than that, leave them alone. They have a purpose, just like everything. These animals need to exist. They need to, to live. We've um, damaged their habitat so much that they really have nowhere else to go. And this snake is, is affected by that. Um, in a moment, the next scene, actually, the next scene you're going to see is an area where this snake used to spend quite a bit of time. But now, there is a house going up, and the snake has lost that part of his habitat. This house is right in the middle of that rattlesnake's habitat. Now, he used to live here, but of course now he can't. You know, and the house isn't finished yet, but when it's finished, there'll be people milling about around here, life going on, and it's not a place for a rattlesnake, and he could stand to lose his life. You know, it's, it's not a good proposition for him. But he has shifted his movements over that way, so hopefully, you know, he's, he'll be okay. But this is what they have to contend with. This is what wildlife has to contend with us humans and we've got to learn to adapt to wildlife instead of push it out and kill it so there you go he's responded by shifting his movements but um, let's say if another house was put in here he would have to shift his movements even farther and then eventually he would lose all of his habitat so Think about these things. All right, folks, thank you for uh, joining me here on a, another wild adventure with Steve. And um, if you want to know more about rattlesnakes, there's a link over in the sidebar. Take a look. Um, I may actually have one flashing right uh, about here. Um, check it out. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Better back out of here slowly. I don't want to disturb this beautiful rattlesnake. <laughs>